The gender wage gap has been an issue for many years, ever since women began doing the same jobs as men. And the gap is a difference in amount of pay between men and women. The results from the OEXA decomposition of salary differential study says there was found to be a $9,000 gap between men and women's pay. To put it into better perspective, women make 79 cents as to where men make $1. A 21 cent difference doesn't seem that awful. Well, to bring it out furthermore, a 21 cent difference comes out to be a total of $10,762 annual difference, which can count as 83 more weeks of food, 11 more months of rent, or 7 more months of mortgage and utility payments. To what extent does work ethic, oh, which raises my question, to what extent does work ethic between men and women affect their different pay for similar jobs? The topic is a link between the We Can Do It poster created by J. Howard Miller and Chapter 10 from The Wealth of the Nations by Adam Smith. We Can Do It was produced in 1943 with intentions to encourage women to take part in men's jobs in the factories while they were all fighting in World War II. And once the men got back, women were kicked out of their jobs or worked alongside men making lower pay. While in Chapter 10, Smith mentions that only in a perfect society, the whole advantages and disadvantages of different employment and labor must either be perfectly equal or continuously tend to equality. In a 2017 Human Research Center survey, it's found that about 4 in 10 working women said they have experienced, experienced gender discrimination at work. While, on the other hand, some may argue that the biggest problem in pay between in the workforce is more focused on other things such as disability, age, or race, and more. While that may be the case within those categories is the difference between genders. With the help of a stronger, with the help of stronger government regulations on pay and income, this will resolve the issue of the gender wage gap. Some limitations of the solution may be employers not following the regulations. There would have to be a change of every woman's salary in America, so going through and like making sure everyone's is changed. Um, and some employers, in a way to avoid the regulations, may not hire women for higher paying jobs, like just for those who feel that like women should be paid as equal. They may not hire them for higher paying jobs or give them promotions. In order to enforce these regulations, another bill must be proposed. Thank you. What questions do you have? Okay. How valid and reliable are the sources you used? Which sources did it work? Um, okay, so the sources that did work, some of them talked about they, a lot of my sources that came up whenever I was looking for some didn't specifically talk about gender and talk about like the dip, like all the different discriminations within work and like pay. And then most of my sources are incredibly um, coming from like certain websites like um, college websites. Or Second question, what advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic? Um, I would say expand the question more because a lot of, it was really hard to find like certain sources that only dealt with just gender discrimination in the workforce. Okay, thank you.